Last time on Helicool's Helipad, we pulled both planetaries and pulled each axle shaft out. We cleared the tie rod out of the way so we could get started with the pinion. Stay tuned for part two. All right, to catch you up, I drained the oil and the plug is back in with thread sealant. All right, I've got, uh, I've got both of the Zerk fittings out and both of the bolts out on both sides. And we're about ready to drop the drive shaft. The breaker bar method isn't gonna work on this one. No, it just looks too rusty to me. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, I know, wow. That's amazing, isn't it? How far up do we wanna go? Oh. Okay, stop there. <laughs> Now you can go as far as you want. There it goes. Let's see if I can just push it out. Maybe I can't. There it goes. Quite Not quite out. Well, that's okay. It's out there far enough that we can get this in there. Okay, we'll take this. The thing you don't want to do with these things is unspline them. Okay, if you can hold that, so don't, don't let it hit you in the face. Got it. Mm, looks beautiful. No tiger tool required. All right, so we are on um, day two, and we are going to be doing the uh, front. Now, this one, you don't have to take it apart because there's no locker that's going to go into it. So we pack towels, and I'm going to use a little bit of a uh, wire wheel to clean up the rust around the... Uh, <laughs> this edge. The mounting flange. Manning flange. That thing, it's rusty. It's only merely obvious. See it written on here. Look how snug that one is. So this is marked 8,000's backlash and that is exactly what we have. Let's see how consistent it is. I'm actually measuring just a hair more than the eight. And that's 180 degrees off. But this is this is this is a good one. We yeah. Because yeah. it's uh the other one we had a minimum of eight and a maximum of twelve, and it was stamped as twelve. So this is actually a better one than the other one. This is just right on eight all the way around. I like it. Yeah, we'll put the quiet one under your feet. Do you see it? All right, you wanna make sure that it is the right gear ratio. Right there, you can see a 14 and 43.
Yep, it's loose. It's loose now. Yep. All right. Time for the floor, Jack. <laughs> it looks like no, no, it's not going to stay there. <laughs> okay, who's driving the jack? Do you or me? I think maybe I can. She's out. A little more. Let that thing down. Very nice. Nothing to it. Did Bill say something like this was hard? You know, Bill's an engineer. Everything's got to be hard. <laughs> I wish I had something hard. Yeah. You can yeah, Bill, this isn't hard. <laughs> I don't think it's near as hard as a damn wish. Let me take my glove out just so I can stop the camera. Uh, up a little higher. Hold steady. Okay, I think I'm about right there. Is it on the bolt? I can't tell. Can't tell what you're Just like before, RTV your bolts. 96 foot pounds. Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me on part two. Next time, part three, of course, we'll be taking care of, oh, just a lot more. There is just a bunch of technical kind of stuff that you're not gonna wanna miss on this next episode. So be sure to stay tuned. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there.
and God bless. Well, hey guys, we're getting close to a million subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If not, that's okay too. But if I can just get five likes, I'll promise to have two cups of coffee tomorrow. And I'll even wear socks and underwear. Hurt me! Hurt me! Hurt me! Hurt me! Hurt me! Hurt me!